Ever pondered how animals perceive the world? Is it black and white, vivid color, or something entirely different? This question opens the door to the fascinating realm of animal vision, a universe far more diverse and complex than our human eyes can comprehend. In our everyday lives, we humans rely heavily on our vision. We navigate our environment, recognize faces, appreciate art, and observe the world's beauty, all through our unique visual perspective. But it's essential to remember that our perspective is just one slice of the vision spectrum. Animals, our companions in this vast ecosystem, experience the world quite differently. Just as we've evolved over millennia to thrive in our environment, so too have animals. Their eyes have adapted to suit their specific needs, whether it's hunting in the dead of night, spotting predators from miles away, or navigating the murky depths of the ocean. This evolutionary journey has endowed animals with vision capabilities that are sometimes far superior to ours, and at times, incredibly distinct. Take the humblebee, for instance. Bees see the world in ultraviolet light, allowing them to spot patterns on flowers invisible to our human eyes. Or consider the mantis shrimp, a creature with one of the most complex visual systems in the animal kingdom. They can perceive colors we can't even imagine thanks to their 16 types of photoreceptor cells, compared to our mere three. But it's not just about color. The eyes of animals like eagles and hawks are designed for precision, able to spot a rabbit from two miles away. Cats and other nocturnal creatures, on the other hand, have eyes optimized for low light conditions, allowing them to hunt effectively in the dead of night. So it's clear that the animal kingdom sees the world in a myriad of ways, each unique to their species and survival needs. But what exactly determines these differences? What factors shape the way an animal perceives its surroundings? So, what factors determine how an animal sees? Let's delve deeper. Do animals see in color, or do they dwell in a monochrome world? This question has intrigued scientists and animal lovers alike for decades. To answer this, we first need to understand the concept of color vision. Just like a painter uses a palette of colors to create art, our eyes use different types of cells to perceive colors. In humans, we have three types of color-detecting cells, or cones, that allow us to see a wide range of hues. But what about our furry friends? Dogs, for instance, have only two types of cones. This means they see fewer colors than we do, and their world is somewhat akin to our view of a sunset. A mix of blues and yellows, but no vibrant reds or greens. It's not quite black and white, but it's certainly less colorful than our world. On the other hand, birds take color vision to a whole new level. They have not three, but four types of cones, allowing them to see a spectrum of colors beyond our comprehension. They can even see ultraviolet light, a color invisible to the human eye. Imagine a peacock, not just with its iridescent blues and greens, but with shades and patterns we can't even fathom. Insects, too, perceive the world in a unique way. Butterflies, for instance, also have vision that extends into the ultraviolet. This helps them find nectar, as many flowers have ultraviolet patterns that are like neon signs saying, Nectar here! So, an animal's ability to see colors depends on the types of cells in their eyes. More types of cones mean a wider range of perceivable colors, and different types of cones mean different colors altogether. It's fascinating to realize that what we see is just a fraction of the whole picture. Each creature, from the tiny butterfly to the majestic eagle, has a unique perspective of the world, shaped by the colors they can see. Clearly, the animal kingdom experiences a much more colorful world than we can ever imagine. Ever wondered how some creatures comfortably roam the night while we stumble in the dark? The answer lies in the marvel of night vision, a natural adaptation in many animals that gives them an edge in the game of survival. This nocturnal prowess is primarily driven by two main factors, the presence of a high number of rod cells and a special layer in the eye called the tapetum lucidum. Let's dive into how these two elements work together to unlock the mysteries of the night. Rod cells are a type of photoreceptor cell in the retina. Unlike their counterparts, the cone cells, which are responsible for color vision and function best in well-lit conditions, rod cells are particularly sensitive to low light. They don't pick up colors, but they're excellent at detecting shades of gray. This makes them perfect for nighttime navigation. Now, consider the tapetum lucidum. This is a layer of tissue in the eye found in many vertebrates, but not in humans. It acts like a mirror, reflecting any light that passes through the retina back into the eye. This gives the photoreceptor cells another chance to pick up the small amount of light available during the night. Take a cat, for example. Ever noticed how a cat's eyes seem to glow in the dark? 
That's the tapetum lucidum at work. The reflected light increases the light available to the photoreceptors, enhancing the cat's ability to see in the dark. Similarly, owls, known for their nighttime hunting skills, have a large number of rod cells and a well-developed tapetum lucidum. This combination allows them to spot even the slightest movement in the dark, making them efficient predators. These adaptations are indeed crucial for survival. In the dark, when visibility is low, these animals can hunt and evade predators effectively. They can navigate their environment with ease, finding food and shelter while others struggle. It's fascinating how nature equips its creatures to thrive in the dark, isn't it? These remarkable adaptations not only highlight the diversity of life on our planet, but also the ingenious ways in which nature works to ensure survival. The night is indeed full of wonders, and for some it's just another day in their life. But vision isn't just about light and color, what about the angle and depth perception? Indeed, where an animal's eyes are placed can drastically affect how they see the world. It's not just about distinguishing colors or seeing in the dark, it's also about the field of vision and depth perception. Consider predators like lions or eagles for example, their eyes are located on the front of their heads, a trait known as binocular vision. This arrangement gives them a narrow field of view, but excellent depth perception. It allows them to accurately gauge the distance to their prey and strike with deadly precision. This forward-facing vision is critical for animals that rely on hunting for their survival. On the flip side, prey animals, like deer or rabbits, have eyes on the sides of their heads. This gives them a much wider field of view, sometimes up to 360 degrees. This panoramic vision allows them to spot predators from almost any direction, but it comes at a cost. Their depth perception is generally poor, it's a trade-off, but one that has proven evolutionarily beneficial for these animals. Then there are animals like the chameleon, whose eyes can move independently of each other, allowing them to look in two different directions at once. This unique adaptation not only provides them with a nearly complete spherical field of vision, but also allows them to focus on two different objects simultaneously. And let's not forget about insects. Many of them, like dragonflies and bees, have compound eyes. These consist of thousands of tiny lenses, each capturing a different part of the scene. It's like seeing a mosaic image of the world, a perspective that's hard for us to even imagine. So as we can see, the placement and structure of eyes in different animals can greatly affect their vision, providing them with unique perspectives adapted to their specific needs and survival strategies. So, what may seem like a simple sense to us, holds a myriad of adaptations and variations in the animal kingdom. So, we've navigated the world of animal vision, but what does this all mean for our understanding of these creatures? Let's take a moment to reflect on our journey through the animal kingdom's visual spectrum. We've learned about the fascinating diversity of sight, from the vivid multi-dimensional color perception of birds and insects to the efficient, low-light vision of nocturnal creatures. We've uncovered how animals see the world in ways that are vastly different from our own, yet perfectly suited to their unique needs and environments. We've delved into the realm of ultraviolet and infrared vision, enabling us to appreciate the extraordinary capabilities of animals like bees and snakes. We've peeked into the world as seen by mantis shrimps, creatures that perceive an array of colors beyond our human comprehension. And we've stepped into the darkness with animals like cats and owls, whose night vision grants them an incredible advantage in the wild. This understanding of animal vision is more than just an exploration of scientific curiosity. It enhances our empathy towards these creatures, allowing us to appreciate the distinct ways in which they interact with their surroundings. It guides our interactions with them, reminding us to respect their unique sensory experiences and consider how our actions impact their world. Moreover, it serves as a testament to nature's ingenuity highlighting the remarkable adaptations animals have evolved to survive and thrive. It's a reminder of the beautiful diversity that exists within the animal kingdom, a diversity that is as varied and vibrant as the colors and sights they perceive. So, as we wrap up our exploration of animal vision, let's carry this newfound understanding with us. Let's allow it to influence how we interact with and care for the animals that share our world. And most importantly, let's continue to marvel at the remarkable adaptability and resilience of nature's creatures. The next time you look into an animal's eyes, remember you're looking at a world that's vastly different from ours, yet beautifully adapted for their survival.